y'all, Serena here, educator at the Keswick Wise and Well Center for Healthy Living in Baltimore. And it's springtime, which means it's time for flowers, fruits, and veggies. So um, right now there's kind of a shortage of being able to get plants, get seeds, all of that um, stuff. So I'm going a little stir crazy and I need some pretty in my life. So. I thought, guess what? It's time to get down to business and grow some of my own seeds and create my own seed pods. So since we're trying not to go to the store so much here, I did a little bit of Googling and um, found out a really cool way to reuse something that we hopefully all have in our um, houses to basically create our own biodegradable, um, you can plant these straight into the ground, uh, seed pods. So what you're going to need is the toilet paper tube roll here. You can use a wrapping, uh, paper tube. You could use, um, a paper towel tube, something like that. We know, uh, how difficult toilet paper is to come by. So we might as well give it all of its glory and reuse the tube when we're done. So you're gonna need a tube. Um, you're gonna need some seeds, some dirt, some water, and then some type of waterproof um, container to do this. So we're gonna start to grow our own. Um, I'm gonna be growing, hopefully, a lemon tree and um, I'm gonna try some wildflower seeds here because that's what I could find. So the first thing you're gonna need is that toilet paper tube here. What you're just gonna do is to start with is you're gonna cut your tube in half. And it doesn't matter if you crush it down, it's gonna be perfectly fine here. Then you're gonna squish it and cut off, I don't know, um, I guess that's maybe like half an inch or so on each of the sides. Squish it again, go in the other direction. Same thing, same size cuts. So once you've got that, you basically are going to create flaps here as if you're creating your own um, like wrapping paper stand-up bag. So first you're going to fold one side down, fold the next side in. And these do not need to be perfect as I'm going to show you. Fold your next side in. And then we're going to, oops, take this flap that's underneath here. We're going to slide it under, press it down so that more or less we get the bottom of a box. And then you can kind of press it in here and it's going to sit mostly flat in front of us. So we're going to do the same thing with our other side. Now you can leave these um, larger, but this just allows you to create more seed pods to be able to plant more seeds. Fold that in. Fold that in. Fold that in. Once I get to this point here, I'm gonna take this, pull up the one edge, Slide it under, bend it down, place it here, and voila, I have a little seed pod. So I've actually already made some here in this um, old strawberry container. So if you got something like this, it's great because we're going to more or less create our own greenhouse. Um, this, if you don't have something like this, um, you can use a Tupperware container with a lid. You can use um, any type of like a cake pan or something like that, and then put over the top of it some like saran wrap or something like that. So next thing we're going to do is I have some uh, potting mix here. Just going to take my seed pod. Dip it down into my potting mix, fill it up, and I'm gonna put it in my container. Ta-da! It's okay that they have a hole in the bottom. Um, it's just gonna allow for drainage of our water. So now that we have our little uh, seed pods here. I'm going to take my, my lemon seed here and I'm just going to stick it, I don't know, um, halfway down there or something like that. And then I have these pretty wildflower um, mixture planting seeds. 
that I got as a gift and actually never planted them last year. So perfect time now. I'm going to have some pretty little wildflowers that I can transfer over to um, all my pots. Because right now, um, I typically contain our garden, but since I haven't been able to find big plants, they're not so pretty right now. So just got a bunch of little seeds here. I'm just gonna take a handful of them. I'm gonna drop them onto the top of each of my little seed pods. I don't actually know what's in here, so it'll be a super fun surprise later. Get a few more. Let's actually see what these are. So this is purple coneflower, larkspur, love in a mist, coriopolis, a daisy, sweet william, a galea, black-eyed susan, virginia stock, blue flax, and catch fly. Don't know what most of those are. I'm not even gonna remotely like try to tell you that I do. I'm just excited for pretty flowers. All right, so then I'm gonna poke these guys down into my soil. Do it this way to make my life easier. I'm gonna fill them up the rest of the way. I love having fresh flowers and a pretty garden and yard, so um, here's hoping that these things actually grow actually never done it like this. So these are here for a true experiment. I'll have to do follow-ups as this goes along. Big old stick. All right. So now essentially we have them in our greenhouse here. I've got a big thing of water. You could use a watering can, whatever you need. And we just need to, there we go, uh, spray them and soak them. We want to get the paper, um, the toilet paper tubes completely wet as well. All we have to do is close the lid on our makeshift greenhouse here. And we're gonna sit them in um, a sunny area. They should start to sprout in the next three days to a week. Um, from there, once they sprout, we can plant them into the ground and we'll plant them in their toilet paper tube straight on into my pots. So let you know how this is going um, in the next week or two and um, cheers to spring. Bye y'all.